Welcome to Uncle Nick Golf. I'm Uncle Nick and I'm going to teach bad golfers to golf. Not so bad. I'm going to teach you techniques that might not be the right way to do it, but it works for me. Let's get started. In case Go! if you have ever watched, don't mind the lunge. If you ever watched any of my videos, you would know that I like to make my own clubs. I like to play unconventional, very unorthodox styles of golf. I try to make the game a little more fun. Not like it's not fun, but I like to change it up. I always get these stupid little ideas and then I go balls deep in them and I see how far I can push. With that in mind, what kind of club? Nope. What do you hit? Nope. Do you hit your pitching wedge more accurate than your driver? Yep. Do you hit your short irons more accurate than you hit your long irons? Yep. There's a reason for that. It is shaft length. I, I know there are players that dabble with equal length irons, you know, like Duchambeau. I don't know what I'm getting at. With the idea that shorter shafts hit more accurate and paying no attention to the loss of distance. I am shortening my clubs incredible lengths. I'm making basically a set of baby clubs, <laughs> mini clubs. I cut the shafts down a lot, about uh, maybe 12 to 15 inches on some of them. I think I trimmed about 18 inches off my driver. So each shaft is just over two feet long, maybe about 24 to 28 inches long. I pretty much cut them right under the grips. I really like to re-grip clubs, so I've been cutting shafts, thickening the girth of the shaft with duct tape, and then re-gripping them. And I get this set here. I'm trying to pay more attention to... I just trying to play with short baby clubs. My set includes a driver, a hybrid, a six iron, a nine iron, a pitching wedge, 64 degree lob wedge, and a putter. So cute. Six clubs. Huh? Plus one, seven clubs. In this video, I am gonna challenge either my brother or my dad or my sister Glenn, whoever is in this next video, to a match. And I'm gonna be using the baby clubs. Obviously, I'm not gonna hit anything longer than maybe 150 yards or even 120 yards. I'm gonna play a match against my dad. If I win, he's gonna buy me a prepaid golf card that is worth 10 rounds of golf. And if he wins, unlimited golf grips for life from me. He likes homemade clubs just like me. Just to even out the match a little, I'm gonna spot him nine strokes. I'm gonna play at the baby clubs. He gets nine strokes and we'll see who wins. We're gonna play 18 holes or I'm gonna spot him five strokes and we're gonna play nine holes. And let's get started. All right, slight change of plans. My dad is no longer joining me today. I'm still gonna play with the baby clubs. Um, at least I get a practice round before I actually have the match against him. I'd say he would probably shoot between a 98 and a 103. So in order to win by nine, I would have to shoot an 88. So today's practice round, trying to shoot an 88 or better. So I'm heading down to Hawaii Country Club, the Brown course. Let's get started. All right, here we go. 18 holes, baby clubs. No idea what my distances are. They haven't even hit the clubs before. That's actually better than my real driver. All right, the drive went farther than I thought. It went, um, I think about 200, 210. 50 yards, I got a pitching wedge. I have a birdie putt. It's a pretty long putt. The greens are not that good here. The putter is the best one, it's so tiny and cute. I'm just trying to hit it straight. All right. Got a bogey, satisfied. <laughs> Little fade. It's like almost on the level of what I would hit a three wood. I just with. walked on, no tee time. And I started at 8.30. Let's see how long I can play, how quick I can finish the round. 
anyways, that's where my drive is. 150 yards. I have a three hybrid. How many yards I can get on this guy? Lob wedge. That was a really good chip. Let's see, it breaks to the right. All right, six. Double bogey. This one's a part five. I'm gonna try swing as hard as I can to see how far I can hit the driver. Let's see if I can get a draw. <laughs> I hit this driver better than my actual driver. Ridiculous. It's really hard to swing your hardest because it's so short. So I hit it about 200, 197 to be exact. That's yeah, pretty hard. I'm gonna aim for the top right side of the hill because it's gonna roll down to the left. Well, not that right. I got 120, the green is, or the flag is right about here. I think I'm gonna try the six iron again. See if we can get 120. That's a pretty good hit. So my distance was good. I was pin high, it's just a little to the right. Not that bad. Um, this is for five. Almost dunked it. Got a triple. All right, par three, 178. It's the only club I can reach is with a driver, so hopefully I hit it straight. Um, it's pretty close to the green if it's not on. All right, I got just short of the green, but it was really, really straight. I'm gonna use a 64 lob wedge. I just want it to go straight up and down. Don't know how loud I'm talking. Um, I have a bar flat. Bar. A little to the right, but it's 296. Let's see if I can get 180. Beautiful. Oh, to the right. You really gotta stay down on your swing. Once you pop up a little bit, because you're bending down so low um you're gonna slice bad so a longer hose is where i really suffer because it doesn't go that far so stay down low uh. um so uh, what do you call this do you call this on the green or off the green it looks like it's on the green it's just a, a bad cutting job on the green uh, putt breaks major to the left, so I'm gonna putt way out to the right, like way out to the right. See how much that broke? Um, this next putt it would be for 
Ah, uh, bogey. I don't even feel confident with this one too because it breaks so much. And once you miss, it's going to roll downhill so far. That was so hard. Yeah, it's a double. Another one, I'm going to try swing as hard as I can. It's pretty wide open. And I'm going to try stay down so I don't slice. pretty far. It went so straight. I feel like I'm bombing it farther than a driver. Ah, I topped it. It rolls straight when you top it at least. I'll just try to hit it straight. I still went to the right but it's on the green. Uh, just on or just off? I'm hitting straight it's just not that far so Anyways, I see a right to left break. I'm gonna aim slightly out to the right. I gotta really hit this one far. Still short. And it's another double. This one is the par four where the freeway's on the right. Try not to the highway. 244. I just want to hit it uh, pretty much right past the sand as long as it's straight. Such a good ball. Damn. I wonder if it's pretty stupid to switch out my real driver for this driver because I haven't missed a fairway yet. All right, out of the sand, second shot. Um, that sand is probably super hard. I don't know what this kind of debris is. Okay, I think I'm on the green. You suck. Short of the green. What a bad putt. Well, that's in. I'm so bogey. All right, this is a par three, 170 yards. You gotta clear this area here, get over green, and the pin is right over here. So you can you see the pin there. There you go. So I'm gonna hit a driver. It's fading to the right. Um, I think I drove the green. I'm super satisfied with this. Are you allowed to have two drivers in your bag? I think you can. I just think you can't have two putters. I don't even need a putter. I tell you, I'm hitting some of my best shots with this short little driver. I hit the green. And... It's a good feeling when you walk up to the green and all you need is your putter. Good distance. Got a par. All right, hole number nine. Okay. I should have hit it a little bit harder than that though. All right, 130 yards. I got to hit it over the tree. It's up a hill. I play it about 150. Um, I have to hit it over the tree, so I'm gonna take the six because I don't think the hybrid will hit it that high. The six probably won't either, but there's only one way to find out. Ah. Trying to swing super hard. Alright, so flag is up there, ball is down there.
I, I did land the green. Surprised. The edge of the green, but putting for par. Stay went out to the right. All right, I'm on hole number 10. So the front nine, I shot a 48. I'm satisfied, but it's only 928. So I played in one hour, nine holes. Anyways, I hate this hole. It's the hardest hole for me. Par three, about 180, something like that. 183. The green is downhill here, but I always hit it here. I don't think you can see the green from here, but I'll throw on a shot tracer. Still went up to the right, but um, it'll bounce and roll down to the left. So I'm up, I'm gonna hit down. I'm gonna hit a lob wedge so it doesn't roll out too much. I would be putting for par. Satisfied. All right, par three. I mean, this is three for par. Bogey. All right, we got 480 yards. And um, as you know, it's the shorter your shaft is, it's harder to hit a, a fade or a draw. That's why you will hardly slice your sand wedge. You'll slice a driver. So this one is a short shaft, obviously. And I want to hit a draw because a hole curves out to the left. So to hit a draw, I'm going to really exaggerate my swing like really close it up like that, that here that was kind of perfect that went really far so from 480 483 i'm gonna say that goes about 200. Let's see how far i hit it 210 yards that was probably the farthest drive that i hit and it's straight and it hit a draw it's like a few inches short of the green that went super straight though Such a good drive. Ah. Went out to the right. Alright, so it looks like my drive went in the bushes. I thought it went it went really high. I guess it bounced and went that way. Or it bounced and went that way far, either way. Take a drop. Uh, give myself a kind of generous drop around here. Still got about 200 yards from my third shot now. I like doing that right now. Ah! A, it's gonna go high. 
uh, just like that. <sighs> All right, when I got up to the green on 15, there was a group of eight. They had four carts and eight people putting around the greens. And I'm not about to wait. So I skipped that hole, even though I hit a super good drive. I skipped that hole. I'm going to skip the next hole, and I'm going to play 17 and 18. As far as the score, um, I've been uh, shooting between bogey and double bogey. So I'm going to give myself a bogey on one and double bogey on, on the other, just for like a bogey and a half. Um, just so I can get close to an accurate score. I mean, I don't really care to get the exact score. It was just a practice round, and I just wanted to play the baby clubs. And um, obviously, the baby clubs hit straight, just a little bit short, and he'd help with the putter. Um, but other than that, um, here's hole number 17, par 3, about 140 yards. Uh, I'm going to hit a full six. That was good. I had some backspin on that. Ah. The bogey. All right, hole 18. This is 212, but it plays more like 250. The green is way up there on the top of the hill. And I'm hitting down here. I'm going to hit a driver, and I know I'm still going to be short. Um, I'll put a tracer on it to see where it goes. Ah, this should be a double six. All right, that concludes the round. I ended up with a 93, unofficial 93, because of obviously I skipped two holes and I just not an average of the score. Um, but I would be shooting around the 93, maybe 91, maybe 95. I don't know if that would be enough to beat my dad giving him nine strokes, but it was. It was better than I thought. The driver went farther than I thought. The putter sucked. The wedge is good. And everything in between, it just hits about the same distance. All about 120. Nothing super far. Anyways, I'm getting a pretty good amount of views on the videos, but not enough subscribers. So there's people watching the videos and are not subscribed. So please, hit the subscribe button. That's the goal. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. I got something fun up my sleeve. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace.